Autocollimator. Autocollimator is an optical instrument used for the measurement of small angular differences, changes or deflection, plane surface inspection that is flatness measurement etc. This autocollimator provides a very sensitive and accurate approach in measurement. The operating principle of autocollimator can be explained in two parts. Uh, one is without any deflection to this mirror surface and the second one is second part is with the deflection of an angle theta uh, with the vertical of this mirror surface. Let us consider the first part that means the mirror uh, does not have any uh, deflection it is purely vertical and uh, uh, that condition is uh, shown with this uh, red color uh, beams. So the beam of light from the illumination or illuminating medium or the source uh, is passed through a collimating lens and it will get parallel and that parallel beam of light is actually uh, gone through came through an object rectangle. And from there, uh, it is coming to a beam splitter. There it is splitted into part one, two parts. One part is uh, going to the left side and it is uh, hitting or it is uh, having an image is created on the image plane. And the other part is uh, moving in the rightward direction. And it is uh, uh, when it is coming through the objective lens, again, this is also a collimating lens, then a parallel beam of light is actually reflected uh, back from this uh, mirror surface since the mirror does not have any angular tilt uh, it will follow the same path as that it was moving forward so it will have the same path and it will again come to the image plane and hitting on the same location and the location is marked as O. In the second part, if we provide an angular tilt of theta to this uh, mirror surface, then the first part, the beam will move in the same direction as in the first case. But after uh, hitting in the mirror surface, it will be reflected back at an angle 2 theta to the first uh, beam, that is 2 theta, and it will be uh, back through the collimating lens and uh, and also through the beam splitter it will uh, incident on the image plane at a distance of other point that is known as O dash and the distance of the O and O dash will be denoted by X. If we could measure this distance X uh, then we can uh, relate this X with respect to the uh, deflection theta and focal length of this collimating lens uh, then we can construct an equation as x is equal to 2 theta into f that means x is a function of the focal length and the angle of deflection theta so from this equation we can find the value for theta uh, if we know the value of x in construction of autocollimator it have a lamp as an a light source and uh, there is collimating lens then there is a target graticule or reticle reticle and both are same reticle or reticle both are same it is nothing but uh, and these are actually thin cross wires so there will be a target graticule actually this one is projected by this uh, beam of uh, light and this beam is now we have got a beam splitter to split into two and one will move in the rightward direction and we have got a, again uh, objective lens and that is also collimating lenses after passing this collimating lens we will have a parallel beam of light and we have got a mirror reflector at the front end and it will be reflected back and we have got another graticle over here it is actually provided with a micrometer to adjust the height then that's this known as setting graticule and that is a, a graticule is another set of crosswires then we have got the eyepiece and we will have the image on the eyepiece 
and this setting that setting reticle height can be uh, more uh, altered using these micrometers and finally uh, if there is a deflection then uh, we will have an image like this in this picture so this uh, dark lines are actually representing the images of provided by the eyepiece reticle or graticule and this green wire is actually the projected lines of the object reticle or graticule so this one is actually projected through the light and it is traveling all the way from through uh, up to the reflection uh, or reflecting mirror and it is coming back and uh, we are actually availing away available in the eyepiece as an image as so that image is so shown over here so here we can we can note that this will be a difference and this difference is denoted with x so either in some machines it will have a graduated eyepiece reticle then from this itself we can uh, calculate the deflection and here it is shown that one division is equal to one minute that means it is not showing the x but it is directly showing the theta so the theta can be directly measured from this dial if in some other cases it will be showing x then we can we have to use the equation for finding the theta and uh, in uh, some other cases it will only have a cross wire then we have to move this to match with the this green wire has to uh, we have to move this uh, dial to match with the green wire then uh, through the micrometer dial we have to measure how much distance it has been moved so that will be our x or some machines it will be directly giving the angle theta these are moving some setups uh, used for measuring uh, a surface for its flatness uh, that means uh, the deflection or not so it will be moved with uh, a uh, predetermined distance for each time and we will note down the angular deflection in each time in the auto collimator and uh, these setups are showing that it is uh, measuring the parallelism and here it is measuring the elastic uh, Material, that is a reflection of an elastic material here it shows various application of auto collimator that is the primarily it is used for the measurement of straightness and flatness of surface then precise angular indexing that is settings then comparative measurement using master angles then measurement of small linear dimensions and used for machine tool adjustment settings Thank you for watching.